Check out this $1.8 million Detroit penthouse located in historic Corktown. Matt O'Loughlin. Is this working? Test, test. Is going to be taking us on a tour of this luxury condo. Let's go. 6,000 square foot penthouse. That's a big girl. Sure is. Welcome to History Loves Company. Originally a Westinghouse factory, these condos were one of the very first condo conversions in the city of Detroit. Top three floors are 6,000 square foot penthouse units. They're some of the largest in the city. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Nah. Absolutely not. Backwards, thank you. Yes! All right, so you go in, you've got one of the coolest garages in the city, 14 foot ceiling. So uh, this unit's gonna have two indoor parking spaces. So it has the old school freight elevator. It's not the fastest. And it's not that big of a deal. All right. Come on aboard. Look at that freaking elevator! Alright, let's see if I can get the first time. Oh yeah, first time. Nice. 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 So uh, you get all the way up into the building, which is really cool. This one doesn't have which elevator it was in the city, but I sold one building where it still had ropes and pulleys, basically. Pretty much sounds like my bedroom. You know, the, the, the ropes and the, the chains and stuff and the, the hanging from the ceiling. 6,000 square foot penthouse! That's a big girl! Sure. The joke's so nice, we had to make it twice. So, pretty, yeah, you're set back from the city, so you get some pretty cool city views. And uh, it's an insane entertaining space. Not a bad view. Yep, she's big. Kitchen, dining room, just wide open entertaining space here. You're walkable to all the cool restaurants, bars, and Corktown. You're a block away from the central business district, so location really couldn't get any better. Location, location, location! location. Three bedrooms, three full baths. An in-home urinal. Yep, every giant loft needs that. Got some Red Wings memorabilia possibly from Joe Louis Arena. It'd be cool if it did, right? And then your bedrooms are tucked in the back end of the property, so. We'll start with the main bedroom. Welcome to the master suite. You know, the place where all the magic happens. Check out those views. Brush your teeth in not one, but two sinks. A tub with no walls, every voyeurist dream. Check out this walk-in closet. But whose shirts are these? No one lives here, right? If I lived here, would that make this a Christopher Walken closet? <laughs> I'm going to the other room. You come out when you're ready. Forget it, guys. I'm taking this one. You guys will have to wait for the next luxury penthouse to come on the market. And that stand-up shower, it looks like there's all sort of bathing supplies there. Somebody's got to be staying here, right? We've got more rooms. Guest room number one. This place has art. Hi, Rick. Guest room number two. More art. And more art. So many views. More views 
just in your eyes have room for? Nice wood! This place has hardwood floors throughout the entire penthouse! So with the master suite, guest bed one and guest bed two, that makes three full bedrooms as opposed to half bedrooms. And we've also got three full baths. So we've got bath number one right there in the master suite, bath number two just outside of the guest rooms, and bath number three over there with the urinal. I'm sure you guys remember that, right? Check out these ceilings. They're so high that I don't even think Shaquille O'Neal could jump and touch them. Or maybe he could, probably could. All right, let's go, let's get out of here, guys, come on. This place is great. I can really see myself uh, settling down here, you know? Hmm, what if the shirts are included? Yeah, we'll put it in an addendum. Well, I, that's about all the time that we've got here today, guys. So, uh, you know, if, if I don't buy this one, I hope you guys come and check it out. But remember, every home is a story. Let's discover yours. Welcome to History Loves Company.